can you hear me now? Hello? Okay. So I go. I'm basically um what out what uh oh, what the hell's wrong with Mike? Sorry. Um getting back to this uh translation of uh, the Holy Son. Uh, I mean we were trying to explain to you before that yeah we accept the I mean if you re if you go back and scroll back up you'll see Jibril has said that we accept Yusuf Ali we accept Pictor we accept basically I mean these are these guys used English words to translate you know the Arabic from where it was from Arabic to English and uh, they use different words like uh, Yusuf Ali says Holy Son Pictor says Faultless Son uh, Malik says Holy Son uh, Assad says Son and Down with Purity so I mean these the uh, all different translations for the same word and that goes back to the you know the word of uh, uh, Ikra we were talking about before it can be translated as read and write remember we were having that discussion on YouTube so I mean the, 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 the point is that you know I mean yes the, the uh, Yusuf Ali used uh, Holy Son and I explained to you why that it was important that uh, um, you know um, the message was given to Mary uh, alayhi salam that so that she understands that you know she would be blessed with um, uh, 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 you know the the, the Prophet Isa alayhi salam, right? So I, I think that that was quite clear. And then you know, getting back to your your summary, first of all, you talked about um, you know uh, how uh, you know the magician thing that I, I mentioned. Uh, you asked me how can you know has someone be deceived, and I I gave the example of a magician. I never said that God was uh, you know deceiving people like the magician or anything like that. Okay. And then um, you talked about. Um, uh, Solomon and I told you again my, my my knowledge in Islam is not as great as like a lot of other people okay and uh I, I temporarily forgot and you know as I'm as I'm thinking about it I remembered and I explained that to you that the Prophet Solomon Islam, he was given the ability to control by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to control all of the jinn kind okay he was able to do that as well as to um, speak with the aunts and that, that that's uh, you know written in the Quran uh, so h him controlling them to, to do whatever whatever this, you know that that that's you know of course talked about in the Quran that he was able to do that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the ability to do those things all right so um, the other points that you made uh, I apologize to you I didn't catch all of them because I was uh, trying to, to locate uh, some other information so um, you know if you don't mind uh, just going back to the points real quick that you had that uh, supposedly we didn't address and I, I personally I think we addressed the concern the concern was again the, the whole debate was the fact that is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indeed a prophet of God and from your definition you said that basically someone that tells you know whatever God says to, to, to the people and that is exactly what uh, you know some did and we explained that to you from the very first ayah that he uh, he revealed so the question is you know the, for, for, you, for what you're doing right now you know unless you have a different definition of what a prophet is you know that that was proven already so all you're trying to do right now is to take attention from that you know so that is that if you have a different definition of what a prophet is then this is what we need to, to be discussing so uh, with that I pass the mic back to you <clears throat> we will not keep uh, renewing uh, definition, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Nari Akbar. Prophet of God, he is the man who was chosen by God. And we prove that your prophet cannot be chosen by God because he is no good. He is no good. He is doing everything bad. Everything against God teaching, the real God. As an example, when you're a prophet, Nadi Akbar, he get married from six years old girl, and he was 54. He consumed the marriage, which means he have intercourse, with her at the age of nine. He was 57. Why a man at the age of 57, and what he have to share with a little girl, she is a child, you live in America right now, I believe. If a man have a sexual relationship with someone she is nine years old, what will happen to him? And to prove you that this is true, you know, you know, I know that it's allowed in Islam until now for you to have sex with, with nine years old girl. 
You can marry a 90 years old girl. So even in that one, he is a child molester. What a man at the age of 57 has to share with little girl? He is not in the age of his her grandfather, he is in the age of a grandfather, grandfather. Do you know that his daughters, are, they are a lot older than her? A lot! So, this is cannot be accepted as a prophet of God. Because if I am saying I am a good man, I should be busy, you know, teaching people about God, about, you know, love, how to love God, how to pray to God. This guy is busy after kids. And not only that, he forced Abu Bakr, sorry, uh, yeah, Abu Bakr, to give her to him. He don't want. He forced him. What's your answer about this, Nadi Akbar? Uh, hello okay so basically all right so you're talking about the six-year-old uh, being married now if you go back I mean you, you know you, you can't have double standards here if you go back to um, your Bible it talks about when uh, you know the the, the, the the I forget the exact uh, quote effect uh, if you give me a second I can I can pull it up but I have uh, from the Jewish Talmud where they are talking about it that uh, you know when they when they fought that war um, it was told to them to, to have uh, uh, you know to, to, to kill every man woman child everything and save uh, only the, those women that are pure that didn't have uh, you know sexual relations and here uh, you, you you know here's You lost your mic, Nadi Akbar. Save your time. Talmud is not our book. Any Christian in here believe in the Talmud? Talmud is a book we consider as an Antichrist book. Who is the one who told you there is any Christian who believe in the Talmud? We believe in the Torah, not the Talmud. So you can take the Talmud and talk with it about someone who believes in the Talmud. We don't believe in it. It's not part of our faith. We have nothing to do with it. So you are mentioning to me something is not and does not believe you know belong to me. Now answer me. Why a man at the age of fifty seven having sex with a little child? Give me a reason. What he want? Go ahead. Sir, again, I was explaining to you that the the thing about the the Talmud, the Talmud is just the explanation of what is written in in the in the Torah, okay? And he they were talking about that specific verse in the Bible, all right? And um, you can go there and read it. Like I said, I gave you the the the, the, the verse, um, I mean the 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 link, and um, you know, it, like I said, it explains there. That